365 days of horsemanship. Um, don't know what day it is, but I have started uploading videos, so I'm happy with myself. Super tired today. I didn't actually even come up yesterday. Um, had a really, really heavy night shift. And some really intensive jobs. Uh, which just really wiped me out. But ultimately when I look back on... Ultimately when I look back on it. Like I'm okay with it. I'm okay that I didn't come yesterday. I think it was absolutely the right choice. Um, it was definitely very different as well. It was a very different feeling I think. Um, that feeling of knowing that it's the right thing to do not to come. Versus wanting there to be a right reason not to come. Which is definitely more the space I was in today because I was so tired. Um, like, I'm literally so tired even now. Um, and, yeah, and I think this is definitely one of the most challenging things for me is really being okay with my limits, being being okay with the fact that some days are just like this and I cannot expect myself not to have days like this. Um, I think I have this idea in my mind like that my days off where I'm not working, those always have to be the days, excuse me, where I'm here for like hours and hours and I have the motivation. But like life doesn't work that way, you know, you can't plan the times when you're going to feel okay and when you're not. You're not, you can't plan the times when you're tired, especially not when you're doing my job. And so um, I had to go pick up my boyfriend's car, my fiance's car um, from service. And so I used the time to start listening back to the videos that I have waiting to be uploaded. Um, and that really motivated me, definitely. And so I had this idea in my mind, like, I'll just come up, really easy session. Just going to do my walking practice until I get, like, big focus changes. And... Just having that plan made me feel a lot more confident. So I came up. I've probably been here about 20 minutes with Lawrence and about 15 minutes with Mia. And the other thing that I thought about as well is like I can't expect myself to jump right back to where I was before, you know? Like I just came away from a month with Elsa where I was actively training myself to be able to do hours and hours a day of this freedom-based work. And then coming back and doing two, week two weeks of it here when I was doing quite a lot of hours to then doing no hours at all for like six weeks. And now coming back, I think it's a little bit like going to the gym. You know, it's like your muscles are like a little bit weaker. And I think it's just about taking the time, allowing things to go with the flow, not pushing myself so hard that I'm miserable about it. Because ultimately, firstly, that's not what I do this for. <laughs> I do this for fun. And secondly, it's not conducive actually to a learning environment. That was a really key thing that I took away from the last clinic I did with Elsa, where um, she get, she gave me this new task to do with Mia around uh, changing my focus while keeping my feet still, unless she changed her focus and then I changed my focus with her and my feet. And I got super tired, super quick playing that game because... It's like, you know, patting your head and rubbing your belly. Like, there's just a lot. Excuse me. Ugh. There's a lot going on. And, and I realised during that session that actually it's not, it's not possible to expect yourself to not get tired. And, and as I was at this clinic, I had this idea in my mind. I was like, you have to do it. You have to do more. You have to do 20 minutes come on, you can't be tired yet, keep going. And actually, my timing got worse anyway. My timing was great at the start of the exercise because I wasn't tired and I was really enthusiastic. And after about 10 minutes, I got really tired. And I'm like, okay, keep going, keep going. And actually, the quality of my work suffered anyway, regardless of whether or not I pushed myself or I went into flow. And actually, what I should have done is say, I'm tired now. I'm going to just flow and be like in self-focus until Mia changes and just be a bit more reactive rather than like doing all this proactive kind of changing of of uh focus stuff 
And I think that was a really fundamental realization for me. And I actually said to Elsa about it afterwards, I laughed about it afterwards and said, you know, I think that's the reason why I've struggled with depression in my life. Like, because I never let myself rest enough. You know, it's never enough. I've never rested enough. I never like, you know, I'm always trying to push myself that little bit more, that little bit more. And then I never truly rest. I never allow myself to just go with the flow of being tired and actually having the rest that I really need. So chronically, I'm in this constant like energy debt. And so I think this idea now that I'm I'm going to just go with the flow a bit more, even though it's really hard for me, I definitely do think it's the right thing to do. It was really hard for me walking back up to do this video. But even now, talking it over, doing the video, talking to you guys... I feel so good about it already. I'm like, this is absolutely the right thing to do. Like, I went, I had such a nice session with Lawrence. But I did about 20 minutes with him and approached and he was uh, resting, sort of sleeping, um, wasn't grazing, wasn't lying down, just like standing up resting and came over to him and just did some work at a distance initially and then I really wanted to get up close to see if I could get to the touching distance without ending up in a scratching thing and so over a couple of repetitions I was able to come up and sort of stroke into like a little bit of a focus change um then I was able to play the handprint game with him where I just put my hand on like all these different places and just waited for like a flick of the ear, a flick of an eye. And I was practicing my different focus changes, all the different environment, like environment, herd, leader, self, back to environment. And I did, I was doing all of that. And then I even managed to actually rock his hindquarters until he focus changed. And that was really, we, we've never had that before. And it was really interesting because it was like, it was curiosity on the edge of concern but it wasn't so concerning that he felt the need to leave me behind. Like, there was the focus change. I was able to take a little half breath with it. We were feeling a little suspicious. Then we had to have a walk. But we did. We only walked, like, one step or two steps. And we both were able to go together. And then we, like, went back to a, a nice flow. And that was really huge. Like, that so much engagement with what's going on. Like, it's definitely one thing to to tolerate something which was where we were kind of at before and then if I just chose the wrong time it was like intolerance quite quickly versus being able to actually think about what's happening and have a reaction to it was like really super was something that I can actually you know flow with was really super um so then I stayed until there was another nice little moment and then I left um actually what happened was he did a lot of licking and chewing and yawning and actually that kind of licking and chewing went on for like some time. There's a little break and then there was some more. And on the second lot, that's when I was like, ah, that's the time. Yeah, let's go. So, yeah, so I was really pleased with the session with Lawrence. With Mia, I just came to her with an empty tank. I just came with an empty tank. Um, so I wasn't as happy with the session. But it was good. I just think I just don't think I really had a goal. Um, but but having said that, I did create goals as I was going, and I was generally relatively happy with where we ended up. Um, she basically, yeah, I came in, tried walking, had a nice. She came to sort of meet me initially, and I sort of did a little bit around just recognizing all those little moments that she has and being able to stay in flow with her, which was lovely. And then after a while, I just felt like I was too tired to keep concentrating so hard. Um, so then I started walking and I found quite quickly that my walking meant that she was kind of like unable to allow me to stay in the same place for as long. Like she would do the focus change and then she would be unable to tolerate me in that place for as long. Whereas before it was like we had these long periods of flow. So I'm like, okay, let's try something else. So then I went in and tried to play the handprint game, which was kind of going okay. And then again, I was getting really tired. So I started rocking just really gently on her hindquarters. And then the skin started twitching. So then I, I started altering my support, like rocking different places, just like tiny amounts just on the skin. And I did eventually get like a turn towards me. And so that's where I stopped. And even that, again, was nice. Because, again, I think with Mia, it, it would be it would again be a question of, like, her just shutting it out. 
just like grazing, 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 grazing. And like for her to like just be a little bit more interactive was really super. I ended up ending. I wish I would have been able to stay longer, but it just wasn't in the cards for me today. Mentally, I'm just to so too tired. Um, and so I ended up leaving on kind of like the general moment of her like looking up, having a little scratch. I tried to help with the scratch. I didn't really kind of go like, but it was fine. And so I left there and I was disappointed with myself. So I was walking up, but like looking back, I don't know why, you know, like that was a really good session and I'm really pleased that I came and, you know, my days off are also for me. And I think this idea of seeing my needs as being separate to constantly or only being the time with the horses or only being like my time with my fiance or only being like time when I'm doing something that's on my to-do list like actually having like my needs as a separate entity is like a very new way of thinking about things for me and I think that you know it's my day off and actually I do feel really tired and, and it is okay for me to say you know today I'm tired today is not a day where I'm able to be here for for very long because ultimately you know it's like it's not that I don't want to be here I'd love to be here for two hours three hours hanging about and I actually just am not able to do so today and that is okay you know that's not my fault um and so yeah so I feel really positive about where things are going um I'm really glad that I had the session today and I think I really just want to take gratitude away from it for actually how far we've come and what we're achieving now in a 20 minute or a 15 minute session compared to where we were you know a year ago and just really have happiness for that um, and remember that every day is just one brick uh, one brick in the wall and I'm really glad that I came today and laid my brick. <laughs>